In the 1870s, Commercial Street, which we know of today as Regent Street, was the heart of Salt Lake City's red light district. It flourished in that location for more than 30 years, despite frequent raids by the police. It was in the early 1900s that Salt Lake City Mayor John Bransford proposed to the City Council that they create a formal registration for the women who worked there, charge them fines of $10 a month each, and that they build a dedicated building for the red light district in a different part of town. The City Council agreed and they went to work constructing what they called the Stockade and retained the services of Dora Topham who went by the name of Madame Belle London to oversee operations. On December 18, 1908, and at a great expense to city taxpayers, construction of the stockade was completed on Block 64 between 1st and 2nd South and 5th and 6th West. Women operating on Commercial Street were forced to ply their trade at the new location immediately or face arrest and fines. The red light district operated on the west side at that location until 1911, when Madame London quit after a run-in with the law. The red lights went out and the building was soon torn down. Women operating from the stockades soon returned back to Commercial Street and business resumed normally, much to the dismay of city officials. 